Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Pen dropping yet another review. Today's review is going to be on the Wii Chip W3 Air Mouse 4 in 1 2.4G wireless remote. This is also a free sponsorship product review. Sponsor is Wii Chip. Let's get started. So here is an example of the front and back design that you can expect from this device. You have the front side and the back is where it shows the, um, the keyboard. Also is included is a dongle. You can plug this up to your PC, your Android TV box, or any compatible device that is in the product description or that is listed. So let's get into compatibility. It's compatible with Android, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and so forth. However, it may not be compatible with Samsung, Sony, Panasonic, and LG displays or televisions. And you see the X, the list of what's not supported. Even the Fire TV stick will be on there. Now, I'm, I will not be testing the Fire TV stick in this uh, review because it simply says it is not supported. I will be using my NVIDIA Shield Pro 2019. It works with Android TV box, a network player, a computer, a home theater PC, and a smart TV that just doesn't follow what's on um, this not supported list. So those are some of the compatibility issues um, if it doesn't work for you, of course, there are alternative methods that you can use this all in one device. So function is key here. So this is like a one in enough or an all in one type of solution where you wouldn't have to purchase a separate remote control, a wireless keyboard, a wireless mouse, or even in some occasions, a game controller. The beauty of a device like this is that it's an all-in-one or four-in-one in this solution to where you just buy one device and you have an air mouse, IR capability, a wireless keyboard, and you just have to purchase one time. So this is obviously for someone who wants to save money and also wants a nice addition or an alternative in their home media center a nice remote for the bedroom, in the office, or even in a home theater setting. So this model is lighter and thinner. So compared to the W1 device, uh, that was a little thicker and it had like this slim curvature to it. You know, this is more straight on, but it's lighter, I'm a thinner. And um, this also has a pretty Pretty simple design, I must say, but it works. You know, sometimes simple is all you need. More information. So if you click on the FN key that allows you to pull up your special keys that you would typically have on a traditional computer keyboard. And here's the interface with a TV, a Apple TV streaming device. And if you push the um, www dot com button which is listed in the lower right hand corner you know you can just easily top that without having to manually press w three times on this keyboard interface which is cool um the simplest of programming use is only compatible with ir enabled devices it is not compatible with rf ip bluetooth or wi-fi enabled devices and you can sort of get like a um comparison between this device and another device in terms of the inch where it's uh, indicated here. So we're going to move on to the unboxing and then we're going to do a showcase. All right, well, let's get right to the unboxing. So this is the package. So you can see, you can tell by the packaging that it's longer and it's thinner in the design is the w3 l mouse ultra thin 2.4 gigahertz wireless 
and it says ultra thin it's an attitude <laughs> interesting so as you can see the major function wireless keyboard air mouse voice ir remote my color is black but it comes in white and it comes and also in other colors that is selected and there is the back of it so let's get this open and once again the magic slide out slow and steady there we go okay see it's already flashing there so i must have pressed the button by accident it's all good <laughs> um so this cable right here is the charging cable that you would use with this device so if you saw my last review of the w1 i said that um out the box i had to charge it up for a couple of hours so i'm guessing it's going to be the same for this device so um, this is the cable that you would use to charge the device with okay Put that right here let me just uh, get this out poke it out and this is the usb dongle that you would put in either to your pc or in my case my nvidia shield pro through a usb hub and also um, i'm going to be doing a test with uh the hisense uag as well so one thing I noticed is that the dongle is a lot smaller on the W3, just in terms of like the length and a little bit of the thickness as well compared to the W1. So that's one interesting dynamic here. And this is what we all came for, the actual device. I'm just going to slide it out like that. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so this is, is the device. Um, it still has the plastic over it. I'm not going to take it off until, you know, I get into the showcase, things like that. Um, so this is nice. It's very simplistic. You know, it doesn't win any awards in terms of the overall design, but how the buttons are laid out in the front of the device is which I like. It's sort of like, hey, let's save you some more time so you don't have to reach that far. We have everything sort of clustered together but spaced enough to where it all makes sense. So this is actually a beautiful display. Um, on the back, we have the keyboard. Let me put it up to the camera so you guys can get a good look at it. It's playing with the um, color changes as well. You know, this stands out. And this is where you would put your charging cable into so that you can actually charge this device up right there. Okay, and this is the power button up top right here. And um, yeah, this is like simple, slick in his own way with the color scheme. I like the color play here. I like the button layout. It works. I mean, we chip big shout out to you guys over there. Um, you're making these beautiful, simplistic design controllers that um, looks great in any home theater, in my personal opinion. So I'm getting ready to um, hook this up to the shield and it's gonna have to charge, I'm assuming, and we will be on our way. Okay, um, I figure I'll do the shield first since I already had this set up, set up, and I was wrong. Um, with the W3, I was able to use it out the box without having to charge it for a couple hours or 
however long it takes to do a full charge on this. So shout out to WeChip on that one. Um, I was able to use this immediately, plug and play, plugged it straight up to my USB hub. That's connected to my NVIDIA Shear Pro 2019 and I was good to go. It's plug and play folks. So um, I'm going to use it here and it's smooth, you know, it's, it's smooth. It's very similar to the W1, you know, performance wise. And I like that they have the home button and the return button, like in one button, like that's cool. So if I bring up the three stacks or what someone called the hamburger menu, um, if I press this one button, which is here in the upper left hand corner of these uh, button slots here, it just returns to the main screen just fine. Um, volume up is that volume down is that. So that works just as expected. The air mouse feature is going to be this arrow button here. So raise it up. You can see that button right there. And you can control the air mouse. Now this is going to be a lot more functional and it's going to make more sense if you are pointing this or in the direction where your device that you're actually watching. So I'm at my computer setup now. So doing the best that I can, but it's pretty responsive. Um, you know, it's a, it's an air mouse, you know, so it's doing this function it's doing its job and you can still get to point A to point B with this. So to stop this, I will have to like have this disappear somewhere. So it's not annoying me. And I press it one more time like that. And I'm back to using the regular device, like a regular remote. Here brings up the mic feature. It's like this microphone button here. Press it. And on the NVIDIA Shield, it's going to bring up my Google Assistant. So I don't have that set up. I actually turned that off. But, you know, that's how you can use your microphone with this device. Press the back button. So for the keyboard, I'm going to utilize MB. I'm going to go to my search. And... I'm gonna type in here. Uh, I'll do probably do. Uh, let's type in blade. See what pops up for that. Okay, so it gave me my Blade Runner, and this is the keyboard once again. And if I wanted to access the special keys. I can backspace that out, press the FN. When you press the FN, instead of a blue light, when it was on the W1, it gives you a red light. And the FN is actually like this orangey reddish color, if that makes sense. So it gives you a different color light compared to the um, W1. And then you just go about your business, you know. Once that FN key is pressed, you know, you can have access to keys that you would typically find on a traditional keyboard. And when you um, press it again, it turns the function off. And let's say you wanted to type in a website and you wanted to use www.com. You will simply press this button in the lower right hand corner which is right here, press it, and it shows you that instantly on screen. Now I'm gonna backspace this, and I'm gonna exit out of the app. So, what I like about this is that it's cool, it's smooth, um, I have zero issues with the performance. Um, it's longer, it's thinner. Um, it's actually a design that most people will be familiar with, but you can't go wrong with the W3 um, at all. Uh, if, if you like this color scheme, if you like this button layout, um, if, if you're just a fan of simplicity and the keyboard looks amazing on this, Overall, if you just want an all-in-one device, 
that you can have as a supplement or even as a main device for your home theater in terms of your streaming devices. Give this a try, you know, look into it and I definitely suggest it. I'm going to be using it from here on out a lot. And um, the link will be in the description. If you have any questions or additional comments, you are free to um, email me or write down the comment section. And big shout out to um, WeChip for this. And then also for a bonus, I am going to have it display on my Hisense UAG. So we will just get forward to that. Okay, so if your television has a USB port, you know, you can plug in the USB dongle on your television and it's plug and play. This works perfectly fine with my Hisense UAG. Um, if I press the home, you know, it, it does sort of control my shield as well. But if I bring up the hamburger menu on the device, this is the menu of my Hisense. This is not the menu of the NVIDIA Shield. For an example, if I go to picture, I'm able to access my picture modes of the actual TV. And here's um, the device. I know it's dark, but I'm using it on the Hisense UAG. As you can see, keyboard in the back. And as I'm navigating the interface, this can easily take over as the main device or the main remote. Because for one, it's an all-in-one. And as I'm navigating through this, it's smooth. There's no lagginess. The high sense is very responsive. The, um, the device is very responsive. The um, remote is instant as I'm scrolling down or pressing on things. No problems whatsoever. I'm going to test out the air mouse feature. So I'm going to back out. See what that's like. And you see shield. Press the air mouse. And if you see a mouse. You know that's the air mouse feature. So, you know, this is a pretty cool product at the end of the day because it can save you money and you don't have to buy, you know, three or four separate devices. You can just buy this one device. So if you're a core cutter or a streamer and, you know, core cutting is all about options and saving money. Well, consider WeChip, you know, in, in your toolkit. Pretty nice. So I'm going to um, press the air mouse feature again, like that. And that's about it, guys. So I've tested it on my NVIDIA Shield Pro 2019. I plugged it directly into my Hisense UAG, and both of them are smooth. Same functionality. Um, they both can work. And because I have two, you know, I could plug maybe the W1 into the Hisense UAG and then just have the um, W3 plugged into the NVIDIA Shield. So, you know, I have that option because I have multiple devices. But um, overall, the W3, I fully recommend it based off of my testing so far. And I'm just going to add it to the toolkit. Um, it's going to be a device that I'm going to be using on my television daily along with the w1 so because i just don't like my devices just sitting around so i'm going to be using this for weeks to come months to come and um later down the line hopefully me and we chip can continue to do business and i will continue putting out these product reviews and i'm showcasing these cool devices to you guys so that you can have more options at the end of the day it's all about options and functionality. This wraps up this review. Thank you for watching and peace out.